Hi class, Mr. Salmon here, and today we are doing pictographs. What are pictographs, you ask? Let's look at the word pictograph right here. A graph is like our bar chart. It's a way of showing information in a picture. And the word picto actually comes to mean the word picture. So this is a graph with pictures in it. So if we look over here, this is a pictograph. You can see I have the title pictograph. And if we read it, it says, our first column is our favorite pet. We have dog, cat, hamster, and bird. And on the other side, we have number of students. But instead of numbers, we have little pictures. And even stranger, at the bottom, you can see it says star equals two students. Because you see, with a pictograph, we can show large numbers using pictures that represent a certain number of something. Take a moment to think about that. Each of these stars in the picture, in my pictograph, is worth two, two people. Two people make one star. But I could also, if I, let's say I asked the whole school what their favorite pet was, I could say that one star was 10 people. And I would have to add different numbers of stars, but each star could be 10 people instead. And it would still take up the same amount of space, if that makes sense. I wouldn't have to draw a really long bar for my bar chart. I could just draw four stars and have them count as 10 people each. But for this graph, this pictograph, a star is two people. Okay, so if we look at hamster, how many people picked hamster for their favorite pet? There's one star, and one star is with two students, so two people picked hamster to be their favorite pet not one person a star is not worth one person it does not represent one person it represents two people so the answer for hamster is two people picked hamster what about cat well cat has three stars and each star is worth two people. So let's skip count by twos to find the answer, okay? Two, four, six. So six people picked the cat as their favorite pet. One star is two people. Another star is another two people. Two plus two is four. And a third star, four plus two is six. Six people picked a cat. So this is how a pictograph works. And it works the same way. So that people would say, your question might be, let's write our question out. Which was the favorite pet? How many... Uh, let's do two questions. How many people chose it? Okay, so let's find our answer. For favorite, that means the most people picked it. So let's look for the biggest number of stars, right? Well, we can see that it's dog along the top because that has four stars and the closest one only has three. So dog is the favorite. So we can write dog. That's our answer. How many people chose it, though? Is the answer four? No, because each star is, represents two people. If it helps, imagine two people putting their hands together like this. One person puts their hand this way, one puts their hand that way, and together they make a star. So two people, each star is worth two. So let's skip count by twos. Two, four, six, Eight. Eight people chose dog. 
because there are four stars worth two people. We could write eight or eight or eight people chose dog. It's always better to answer your question in a full sentence. That looks much nicer, doesn't it? Now, there's a second way that we can do a pictograph that you may be more familiar with. I know you guys haven't seen these pictures like this before, but there is one that we did do, and that is the tally chart. I hope you remember tally marks. Remember, in tally marks, normally, unless it says otherwise, because it might say something different, each mark, either across or down, is worth one of whatever it is we're counting. So let's look at our chart. It says student name. And we have Andy, Clarissa, David, Keisha, and Yasmin. None of, a, none of which are real people. I made them up. And on the other column, we have AR points. Ah, so it's a chart about how many AR points people have. Just like our little meter back in our classroom where you could put your star. So we're counting how many AR points people have so they can reach their goal. I hope you're still trying to reach your AR goals even when you're at home. And we can see, just to make sure, on the side we have a picture of a tally mark, that's one tally mark, equals one AR point. So we know that one tally mark is worth one AR point. So, our first question is, who has the least AR points? Who has the least? And I hope by now that we can remember that the least means the smallest number. Who does not have a lot of AR points? So we're looking for the box that has the, the smallest number of tally marks. We don't want a lot, we want a very little. So let's look. Andy has a lot. Yasmin and Keisha have a lot. David and Clarissa don't have very many. David has one, two, three, four. But Clarissa only has one, two. So we can put Clarissa. Clarissa only has two AR points. How many points do they have? That could be our second question. And we counted one, two, two. Or you could just write two, or you could put they have, or they have two points. Nice full sentence. Okay, but what if they asked us another question? What if they asked us who has the most? Who has the most AR points? Well, it's very close. Keisha and Andy look like they have the most. Let's count. Keisha has one, two, three, four. And remember, the fifth tally mark is always drawn across a group of four. So this little bundle is five, and one more is six. If you're ever trying to remember that, you can count one, two, three, four on your fingers, and then the fifth tally mark goes across them. Okay? Or you can do it this way. One, two, three, four, Five. Our fifth tally mark goes across. That's how we remember that this little bundle is worth five. And one more is six. So that's pretty close. Let's check Andy's. Andy has one, two, three, four, five, and two more. Six and seven. Andy has seven AR which is more than anybody else. Andy. That could be our answer. And then if we're asked again about how many points does he have, we can put 
he has seven points. Now, in other questions, you might be asked to add these together. You might be asked, how many AR points does the whole, does everybody have together? If you were asked that, you could add seven and one, two, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, and five, and add them all together. Or they might ask you, here's a hard question. Okay, they might ask you, let's just get rid of this. Here's a harder question for if you really got Incoming this. Message. Pardon me. A really hard question would be, how many AR points do the boy, oh wait, no, actually, let's say, who has the most AR points, boys or girls? That's a tough question. That's a gold star question. So let's look. Andy and David are the boys in the class. So let's count how many AR points they have. Andy has five, six, seven, as we counted. And then David has, all right, sorry. So Andy has seven points all together. And David, the other boy in the class, has four points. So seven plus four is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So the boys have eleven points. The girls have Clarissa has two. Keisha has we said these bundles are worth five, and one more is six. Six plus two more, six, seven, eight. And Yasmin has one bundle, which means that's five. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The girls have thirteen points. Who has the most points? The girls do. The girls have the most points. So if you're ever asked a complicated question like that, you can count up your tally marks for boys versus girls. Or they could say, how much does everybody have all together? Or how many do Clarissa and David have together? And all you have to do is add up your tally marks for Clarissa and then for David and add them together and you get your answer. Okay, that's it for now. Have fun with the quick check, and I hope you do well, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.